Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'll be showing you how to install scripted on Proxmox. This makes it to where you can have dedicated resources from a Proxmox server to your scripted. So, um, so a little bit about this series is I'm um, starting a smart home from scratch and uh, in, in it and showing you how to install software to get home automations working. And I have about 800 plus devices in my home and uh, almost 900. So me and my dad's been building it for years and I'm just starting up this to show people how to do it and show people what worked for me and what didn't. So if you like it, subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. Okay, let's start on the scripted homepage and show you what it's about. So scripted is a high performance home video integration platform. That means that it can stream to anything. So it can stream to your home kit devices. You can stream to your Google home, your Alexa devices and uh, fast and low latency. And then you can have different plugins that connect to different types of cameras like Unify, Ring, RTSP, Google, real link and then you can see that docker is recommended i did do a video on installing with portainer uh that uses docker under hood and uh i'll link it down in the description um so you can also install it with home assistant as an add-on and uh i'll link it down in the description on that video too and let's go over to the um scripted github you can see the installation methods raspberry pi docker compose mac home assistant os ready nas synology qnap unraid it also has a community discord so you can join and if you need any help do so video loads instantly anywhere they have a demo up to home kit google home alexa support like i was saying so let's go over to the helper scripts. So let's go to scripted. And you can see that there is a helper script for that. So <clears throat> if you want to see what's under the hood with this helper script, you can go over to the GitHub and you can see it's installing dependencies. Always look at the helper scripts if you're going to use any of them and look at them, seeing what they're doing uh, and look at the code. Install Kareltz Edge TPU, uh, installing scripted services, install cleaning up. And that looks like it's about. Let me see if anything's over here. So scripted, there's more over here. So you can see default settings, update script, you know, build the container. So let's go in to Proxmox. Let's go to your node in your shell, and then you're going to paste what we got from the helper script in there. So we're going to proceed with creating a new scripted L LXC. So yes, use default settings, yes. Creating LXC container. You can see it's over here now, starting up. Did resolve the DNS to GitHub. Installing dependencies. You can see it's green now over here, so it is starting. Okay, now it's still installing dependencies. So this will take a little bit fully install. It's going to also ask you if you want to install Corel Edge TPU and you can install it if you'd like. And while that's doing that, I'll go ahead and 
The Google Corel Edge TPU is a new machine learning from Google. It performs fast TensorFlow light model interference with low power usage. So you can install it if you like. It's about it. So let's get back to Proxmox. Let's now install GStreamer. Install Node.js now. Install Python 3. So if you are going to use this for production, you would need to change this to a static IP instead of DHCP. And DHCP just allocates an IP that's in the pool to be allocated. Um, you would go in your router and you would set a IP reservation or a static IP somewhere. Okay, now it's going to ask you, would you like to add Corel Edge TPU? I did do a thing on that over there. I showed you what it's about. A second ago so you can just press yes and then it's going to add the Corel Edge TPU to this now it's installing scripted in it okay now it's cleaning up and gave us the URL so let's go over here and let's go to the URL. So we're gonna go through, go over here to NoScript and allow it. Okay, now you're on your create account page. Come on, just type in username and password, simple. You can support scripts development by uh, sign up for their NBR. We're on 0 0.3. 9.0. Okay, you can see it's just normal scripted now, it's, except it's running on its own resources instead of sharing resources with Portainer or Home Assistant, which could be more stable. Um, so devices, automations, device groups, scripts, users, terminal, you have full terminal access and then so settings you can go in here set your IP so you can go over back up to pl plugins then you can go here and install plugins like ring install ring then you press the install button and then you can reload the plugin it'll ask you for ring username and password to click setup so you do it over here and you can also install HomeKit and everything like that. It's just normal. Uh, these will start adding more down here as you use it more. So your CPU usage, memory, RPC objects. And if you see the CPUs uh, and needs more CPU allocation, as long as your node has more, you can always go in Proxmox and up it and lower it. So you can go over here to Proxmox, you can go to your scripted, then you can go to resources right here. And you see memory, you can up this by clicking on it and ed edit. Then you can change the memory, change the swap on it. You can go down to cores right here and you can up the cores. And there's currently no CPU limit. So you can Put a CPU limit, put a CPU units in. So you can go to root disk. You can go ahead and volume option, uh, vault, vault volume action. Then you can go to resize and you can resize the root disk. You can only increase, you cannot decrease because that would have data inconsistencies. Then close dialog. Then you can see it here once you actually restart the 
the Proxmox uh, VM. You can go over here and you can shut it down or you can reboot, stop. You can also, once you shut it down, you can also remove it and that will delete all of it. Shows the uptime, shows the CPU usage, memory usage, swap used, boot disk size. So that's how to install scripted on Proxmox. So you just learned how to install scripted on Proxmox and give it its own dedicated resources from your node from Pro Pro Proxmox. And this makes to where you can uh, get, give it more CPU, give it more RAM, give it more disk space, things like that. And I showed you in the video how to do that. And um, so if you like these tutorials, uh, subscribe, comment, like. And also, if you need any help, be sure to join the Big Bear community because I'm in there and ask questions and I'll be happy to help as much as possible. Thank you.